This week's tip is about asking vendors how they set up. Especially if you've never worked with a vendor before, you need to ask more questions, or at least I would advise you, based on my experience that I'm about to share with you, to ask more questions and be very thorough and let the other vendors know what the expectations are for your client. So here's the situation. It was a destination wedding, which I do a lot of them, which has also taught me to ask more questions. And again, in the middle of nowhere, somehow I end up in the middle of nowhere a lot these days on these destination weddings. And I had had the opportunity to visit the location with the bride months before the wedding. And we were very specific in where the ceremony was going to take place based off of where the sun was setting, the, the beautiful trees behind her. There was just a very specific way that she wanted the ceremony set up. It was not your traditional way at all. And I had done a floor plan and I had shared that with the vendors, but not all of the vendors look at the floor plans and the timeline, unfortunately. And especially, again, if you've never worked with that vendor before. So I'm driving up to the location and I see this huge blue tent set up right in the middle of the ceremony where the ceremony was supposed to happen. And I drive over there and it was the DJ's tent. It was 95 degrees outside in the middle of summer. And I told him, I said, did you not get my timeline? This is where the ceremony is going to happen. We're going to face a different way and have a little bit of a unique setup because we like to do things unique. And he yelled at me and said, I do ceremonies here all the time. I'm not taking my tent down. It's 95 degrees. My equipment's going to get hot. And so I really didn't know it to, how, to, how to react. Most vendors that I've never worked with before, we try to find a solution. We try to communicate through it. But this guy was not moving his tent. He was completely adamant about not using it. So or, or he, he was saying he had to use it. And, and I was arguing with him in a very polite manner that maybe he could take it down. So I went in and talked with the bride about it because her bridesmaids started to come out. They were getting ready for pictures and I just knew someone, someone was gonna see the blue tent and go tell the bride. So I tried to squash that problem before it arose. But unfortunately, her maid of honor had already seen it and said something to her. She was already upset about it. And I told her, the DJ does not want to move the tent. And then later I found out that this DJ does work at this event space all the time. And he was being paid by the venue a kickback for being there. So he really wasn't working with us because he wasn't there for the best interest of the client. He was getting a kickback being paid through the venue. And that's really all he cared about was just get, getting there and setting up his normal way. Well, after we discussed it for about an hour before the ceremony started. He did agree to move the tent, but he kept that tent up. And unfortunately, it ended up in a lot of her pictures, in her video. It was a challenge for the photographer and the, vid and the videographer. So only if I had discussed that with him ahead of time, or only if he had looked at my timeline with the floor plan, he would have known that the ceremony was not gonna be your traditional ceremony. So over communicating and knowing how your vendor set up is so important so that you don't have to get into these uncomfortable situations the day of the wedding. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.